pH and total alkalinity are two important parameters of water quality. pH balance in drinking water is important in order to control the corrosivity of metals in contact with the water and the taste and appearance of the water to consumers. pH balance is important for the flocculation, nitrification, and denitrification stages in wastewater treatment facility. Alkalinity is a measure of the capacity of water to neutralize acids in the water, which is important to maintain a balanced pH in drinking water and to maintain a balanced pH during the nitrification and denitrification stages in a wastewater treatment facility. This video will describe the basic operation of the Hawk Titrolab titration system for pH and alkalinity. Titrolab for pH and alkalinity offers a complete automated titration system for use in drinking water, wastewater, cooling water, and process water. The manual describes how to assemble the components that come with the system. There are some additional reagents and labware that need to be purchased separately to complete the analysis. Here is a list of suggested reagents and accessories available from Hawk that will need to be available for a typical analysis. To verify that you have the correct units, scroll to System, select Alkalinity Unit, and select the unit milligrams per liter CaCO3 from the list. The pH and alkalinity titrator has several options for units in calculating your results. For this demonstration, we will use milligrams per liter CaCO3, calcium carbonate. The results factor 100.09 is also displayed and has been calculated for using the parameters of 0.1 normal sulfuric acid, units of milligrams per liter CaCO3 and a 50 milliliter sample. If any of these parameters needs changing or if you use a different titrant other than the 0.1 normal sulfuric acid, then you will need to recalculate the results factor and enter it into the instrument. Before beginning the first analysis of the day, you will first need to prime the syringe with titrant. This should be done once a day to clear air bubbles and ensure fresh titrant are in the tubes. Make sure all fittings and the syringe tip are tight. On the keypad, scroll to Manual Activation. Select Murette. Make sure there is a waste beaker under the electrode. Press the up key to empty the syringe and the down key to fill the syringe. Do this several times until all the air is removed from the syringe and tubes. Next, you can calibrate your pH electrode. Place a waste beaker under the probe on the stand and rinse the probe with some DI water. Blot the probe dry using a chem wipe or AccuWipe. Pour out about 50 mils of a pH 4 buffer into a clean sample cell. Place a stir bar into the buffer and place it onto the stand. Lower the probe into the buffer. Select on the screen pH calibration and continue to measure the pH buffer. After the reading is stabilized, raise the probe out of the sample cell and place your waste beaker under the probe. Rinse the probe with DI water once again and blot dry with a chem wipe or AccuWipe.
pour out about 50 mils of the pH 7 buffer into a clean sample cell. Add a stir bar and place it on the stand and lower the probe into the buffer. Press next point on the instrument to measure the pH 7 buffer. After the reading is stabilized, select End Calibration on the instrument and the results of the calibration will be displayed on the screen. You can scroll through the results using the right and left arrow keys. To return to the main menu, press the check key. You are now ready to do a pH measurement or alkalinity titration on a sample. Now that the pH probe has been calibrated, you can choose to measure just the pH of a sample or a combined pH and alkalinity measurement. For just measuring pH, select Measure pH. Place a waste beaker under the probe and rinse your pH probe with DI water and blot dry using a chem wipe or AccuWipe. For just a pH measurement, measure about 50 milliliters of sample into a sample cell and add a stir bar. Place it onto the stand, lower the pH electrode into the sample. Make sure the pH electrode is completely immersed into the sample so the entire glass bulb is under water. On the screen, press the check mark and wait for the measurement to stabilize. The display shows the results after stabilization. You can also run a combined pH and alkalinity titration. You need to select Analyze pH and alkalinity for this analysis. Rinse the probe with DI water and blood dry with an AccuWipe or ChemWipe. Next, measure out exactly 50 milliliters of sample with a graduated cylinder. Here, the exact volume is critical for the analysis. Add a stir bar. Place your sample on the stand and immerse the probe into the sample, making sure the pH bulb is completely underwater. On the main screen, Select Analyze pH and Alkalinity and then press the check mark to start the analysis. A pH measurement is taken first, followed by the titration. After the analysis is complete, the results will be displayed. You can then scroll through the results using the right and left arrow keys. An accurate titration should use between 0.5 milliliters and 10 milliliters of titrant. If you consistently use less than 0.5 milliliters of titrant. You may want to consider changing the concentration of titrant. 
which also requires changing your results factor. The procedure for changing your results factor is described in a second video. Keep in mind good laboratory practice guidelines by making sure you accurately measure 50 milliliters of your sample to do a titration. Calibrate using fresh pH 4 and pH 7 buffers. And make sure the pH glass bulb is fully submerged into the sample for an analysis.